Something moving at 4,600 miles per hour just disappeared from every radar screen on Earth. $335 million in cost overruns for a project that officially doesn't exist. But here's what they don't want you to know. This isn't reconnaissance anymore. It's America's ultimate first strike weapon, and it changes everything we thought we knew about modern warfare. Right now, somewhere above you, the future of warfare is being tested. While you're watching this, a prototype scheduled to fly by 2025 is rewriting the rules of what's possible in the skies. The Pentagon spent decades telling us the age of spy planes was over. They lied, and the proof is hiding in plain sight. In 2017, an eyewitness at Plant 42 in Palmdale saw something extraordinary. A small unmanned aircraft flanked by two chase planes, landing at the secretive Skunk Works facility. Lockheed Martin refused to comment. Six months later, they quietly removed the SR-72 page from their website after five years of public display. Why? What changed? But here's the retention bomb that'll blow your mind. What if I told you this aircraft doesn't just gather intelligence? What if its real purpose is so classified that even mentioning it could change global politics overnight? What if the budget overruns aren't accidents, but evidence that this program has moved from research to active production? Keep watching, because in exactly eight minutes, I'll reveal why China and Russia are scrambling to build bunkers deeper underground than ever before and why three Pentagon officials resigned rather than authorize the release of certain documents about this aircraft's true capabilities. The world's most powerful nations are living in a dangerous illusion. They think their air defenses can protect them. They think satellites give them enough warning. They think hypersonic missiles are the ultimate threat. Every single assumption is about to be shattered. Here's the terrifying reality. Modern warfare moves faster than human reaction time. China's hypersonic missiles can strike anywhere in 20 minutes. Russia's S-400 systems can track objects moving at Mach 3. North Korea's underground facilities are buried hundreds of feet deep. These were game-changing advantages just five years ago. Today, they're museum pieces. But what happens when something moves so fast it outpaces every missile designed to stop it? What happens when your most classified bunkers become transparent to an eye in the sky that can see through concrete? What happens when the concept of safe distance becomes meaningless? The answer is flying right now, funded by black budgets so deep that most members of Congress don't even know they exist. And the evidence suggests we're not talking about a future weapon system. We're talking about something that's already being tested in American skies. Consider this. The original SR-71 Blackbird was retired in 1999, officially because satellites and drones could do the job cheaper. But here's what they didn't tell you. The real reason was that the Soviet Union collapsed. Without peer competitors, America didn't need an aircraft that could outrun any missile. That calculation just changed permanently. Meet the SR-72 Dark Star. And no, that's not its Hollywood name. Lockheed Martin collaborated with Top Gun Maverick to show you exactly what they've been building in secret. This wasn't product placement. This was a psychological operation to normalize the impossible. The Skunk Works team that designed the aircraft in the movie also designed the real one. They used the film to test public reaction to hypersonic aircraft technology. They wanted to see if people would accept the concept of an aircraft that could switch engines mid-flight and reach unimaginable speeds. The audience loved it. More importantly, America's enemies underestimated it. Mach 6 capability, over 4,600 miles per hour. That's so fast it could fly from New York to Los Angeles in 38 minutes. From Washington DC to Beijing in under two hours. From anywhere to anywhere before your coffee gets cold. The SR-71 Blackbird, the fastest aircraft ever built, topped out at Mach 3.3. It broke speed records that still stand today. The SR-72 is nearly twice as fast, with three times the operational range. But speed is just the beginning. This 60-foot aircraft can operate above 80,000 feet with a range exceeding 3,000 miles. It can photograph your breakfast from space, track your phone calls through concrete walls, penetrate any airspace on Earth, and then vanish before you even know it was there. Here's where it gets interesting, and why those budget overruns should terrify America's enemies. The SR-72 isn't just equipped for reconnaissance. It's equipped to launch hypersonic missiles. We're not talking about intelligence gathering anymore. We're talking about global strike capability from an untouchable platform. Think about that for a moment. 
an aircraft that no missile can catch, launching missiles that no defense can stop. From altitudes where most air defense systems can't even see it, moving at speeds that make interception mathematically impossible. Are you starting to understand why the budget overruns keep climbing? Why certain classified documents make Pentagon officials resign rather than authorize their release? The engineering breakthrough that makes this possible will change everything you think you know about flight. For decades, aerospace engineers faced an impossible choice. Turbojet engines work great up to Mach 2.5, then they literally melt. The metal components can't handle the heat generated by air compression at supersonic speeds. Scramjets work perfectly above Mach 4, but they can't even start at low speeds because they need massive airflow to function. It's like needing a car that can drive on city streets and also function as a rocket ship. The physics seemed impossible until now. The SR-72 solves this with something called turbine-based combined cycle engines. The holy grail of aerospace propulsion. Think of it as two engines sharing the same airframe, seamlessly transitioning from one to the other based on flight conditions. A regular turbojet for takeoff and landing, automatically switching to a scramjet for hypersonic speeds. The transition happens at around Mach 2.5. The turbojet gradually shuts down while the scramjet takes over. No interruption, no loss of power, no vulnerability window. It's like watching a caterpillar become a butterfly, except the butterfly can outrun any predator on Earth. But here's the twist that changes everything. Remember when I mentioned those budget overruns? The money isn't going to research anymore. It's going to production materials so advanced they didn't exist five years ago. Jack Sancioni, Lockheed Martin's Vice President of Strategy, revealed something remarkable in 2018. We couldn't have made the engine itself five years ago. It would have melted down into slag but now we can digitally print that engine with an incredibly sophisticated cooling system integrated into the material of the engine itself. Digital printing for aircraft engines that can survive temperatures hot enough to melt steel. We're talking about advanced ceramic carbon composite materials that can withstand temperatures exceeding 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than most volcanic lava. The same materials used on space shuttle heat shields and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Materials that cost more per pound than gold and require specialized facilities just to manufacture. And here's something that should terrify America's enemies more than anything else. The basic version is completely unmanned. No pilot means no G-force limitations. No human needs means no life support systems. No crew means no hesitation when the mission requires crossing into hostile airspace at speeds that would kill any human occupant. Artificial intelligence doesn't get scared. It doesn't question orders. It doesn't worry about international incidents or diplomatic consequences. It just executes the mission with mathematical precision. But what kind of missions require that level of detachment? This is where the story gets darker than most people realize. While everyone's focused on China's hypersonic missiles and Russia's nuclear threats, America just built something that makes both irrelevant. Those Chinese DF-21 carrier killer missiles everyone fears. They move at Mach 10 in a predictable ballistic arc. Fast, but predictable. Easy targets for something moving at Mach 6 with complete maneuverability and advanced countermeasures. Russia's Kinzhal hypersonic missile that everyone called unstoppable. It's been shot down multiple times by 1970s era Patriot systems in Ukraine. But missiles launched from an SR-72 at 80,000 feet and Mach 6. Try intercepting something fired from the edge of space at hypersonic speeds. The physics alone make it impossible. By the time your radar sees the missile, it's already hit the target. Here's what keeps Pentagon strategists awake at night, and what should terrify America's enemies. This aircraft can reach any target on Earth within two hours. Beijing, Moscow, Tehran, Pyongyang, nowhere is safe. Distance becomes meaningless when something can cross an ocean faster than most people drive to work. And because it's unmanned, there are no pilots to capture, no international incidents to manage, no human hesitation when split-second decisions determine success or failure. But wait, there's more. Remember that mysterious revelation I promised? The one that explains why Lockheed Martin suddenly went dark about their hypersonic program, despite clear evidence of continued development? The SR-72 isn't just a spy plane or missile platform. Intelligence sources suggest it's designed to deploy something called kinetic rods, tungsten projectiles the size of telephone poles, 
dropped from hypersonic speeds and extreme altitudes. No explosives needed. No radiation. No chemical weapons. No warning. Just pure kinetic energy equivalent to a nuclear weapon without any of the fallout. Delivered with surgical precision from an altitude where most countries can't even detect the launch platform. Imagine a weapon that can destroy any target on Earth. Military bases, underground bunkers, aircraft carriers, government buildings. With the destructive power of nuclear weapons, but none of the political consequences. No radiation to blame on America. No chemical signatures to trace. Just a very precise, very final, very clean solution to any problem that needs solving. God's own shotgun, fired from heaven. But here's what makes this even more terrifying for America's enemies. The integration capabilities. The SR-72 isn't designed to operate alone. It's part of what the Air Force calls the ultimate system. A network that includes sixth generation fighters, B-21 Raider bombers, and advanced satellite systems all working together. When the SR-72 identifies a target, it can coordinate strikes with other platforms, provide real-time targeting data, or handle the problem itself. It's not just a weapon, it's the brain of America's future military operations. Twin engine platform operational by 2030. That's not a prediction, that's a timeline carved in titanium and funded with black budget money. And when it happens, the global balance of power shifts permanently. Think about what this means for international relations. No country can hide anything. No missile system can defend against it. No alliance can match it. America doesn't just maintain air superiority. America owns the entire electromagnetic spectrum from ground level to low Earth orbit. But here's the question no one's asking, and the answer should terrify anyone who understands geopolitics. What happens when other countries try to build their own? What happens when hypersonic technology proliferates to nations with different ideas about global stability? China is reportedly working on something called the WZ-8 reconnaissance drone, capable of Mach 5 speeds. Russia claims their Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle is operational. Both are impressive achievements that would have been absolute game changers just five years ago. Today they're already obsolete before they're even deployed. The technological gap is widening so fast that by the time other countries develop Mach 5 capabilities, America will have moved on to something even more advanced. It's like bringing swords to a gunfight, except the swords are hypersonic missiles and the guns are whatever comes after hypersonic. But let's talk about something that should make every American taxpayer proud. The economics of dominance. Construction of a single SR-72 is expected to cost less than $1 billion. For perspective, that's less than a single B-2 bomber, which costs $2.1 billion each. A single Ford-class aircraft carrier costs $13 billion. America could build dozens of these aircraft for the cost of one naval task force. And each SR-72 has more strategic impact than an entire carrier group, because it can't be sunk can't be blocked by weather, and can strike anywhere on Earth without warning. The math is simple. Infinite range, unlimited targets, zero vulnerability. But here's where it gets interesting for future military doctrine. The aircraft is expected to enter service in the 2030s, but test flights are already happening. That mysterious aircraft spotted over Plant 42 in Palmdale in 2017. The one accompanied by two chase planes that Lockheed absolutely refused to comment on? Multiple aviation experts confirmed it wasn't any known aircraft type. The flight pattern suggested speeds exceeding anything in the current U.S. inventory. And the timing, just months before Lockheed went completely dark about the SR-72 program, suggests something significant happened. My theory? They didn't just test the concept. They proved it worked. The question isn't whether this changes everything. The question is whether the world is ready for what comes next, and whether America's enemies understand how far behind they really are. We're witnessing the end of traditional air defense and the beginning of something unprecedented. Space-like speeds in Earth's atmosphere. The Dark Star is slated to take flight sometime in 2025. And when it does, every military doctrine written in the last 50 years becomes worthless. Imagine trying to defend against an enemy that can strike any target on Earth within two hours, from altitudes where your missiles can't reach, at speeds your radars can't track. Traditional warfare becomes impossible when your enemy controls time itself.
the SR-72 could be a launch platform for hypersonic strike weapons, integrating capabilities that make nuclear weapons look primitive, clean, precise, instantaneous, the perfect weapon for an imperfect world. Lockheed Martin could finalize a prototype by the end of 2025. We're not talking about distant future technology, we're talking about next year. The age of hypersonic dominance is here, and America just claimed the throne. If this opened your eyes, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Share this with someone who needs to know, and comment below. Do you think America's enemies already know what's coming? The truth might surprise you, 